What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. And today, it's the Negro Manosphere edition of The Celebrity Jump, which includes two of the known guys or heavyweights in this sphere. Uh, one is really not associated with us anymore, but we know him in this space. And definitely one of the thought leaders in the current version of the Black Manosphere, Obsidian Media Network. And the first person that we'll talk about today is Black YouTuber, I will consider dating coach, Donovan Sharp. Now, I found out about Donovan Sharp through Obsidian Media Network and Donovan's articles on Return of Kings. And I must say that Donovan Sharp is a very, very talented writer, okay? And I know that because uh, when I found out about his podcast on his website, I reached out to him. I told him about Black YouTube. I told him about the Black Manosphere. He had no idea we existed. And then we struck a deal to get him to come over from Return of Kings over to Negro Manosphere, okay? And at that time, I would say that Donovan was in maybe Return of King's doghouse, right? And I mean to say that they didn't know how much talent he really had. And to me, I think Donovan was was way more talented than any, any of the other guys, right, you know, on the site. I believed his progress on YouTube and personally has proven that he was the most talented guy on the site. There's nobody on the site that was more talented than him outside of maybe Roosh and Wright, all right? And me and Donovan, we've done so many shows. Um, he got, you know, known through uh, Obsidian and then also the Black Manosphere community. And he, now he's even surpassed uh, most of us. He's, he's in the, you know, 21 convention now. Um, he's doing great things now. And, uh, and, and salute to Donovan. Me and him have had our words about the Black Manosphere and things like that. But I can say that Donovan is really good at what he does. He's a very intelligent guy, and he's a very, very talented guy. Uh, but one of the things that I, I noticed about Donovan Sharp's content is that Donovan has a really big issue about the black community. And I, I was trying to hope to change his mind when he came over to the black manosphere and we supported him. We were the first people that adopted a lot of his YouTube work and content, some of the first thousand subscribers that he had. And, um, and I thought that, you know, Donovan would be uh, more appreciative of the community that we built around his content. And that's what me and him sort of felt around because he said it was just too much drama and people calling him names. When I, I don't really see that as the case. Donovan got his start from the Manosphere, the black Manosphere. We, we're the ones that were his first subscribers and first pu uh, pushers of his content when it came to YouTube. But outside of, you know, having a negative experience maybe with his mom and with the black community at large, Donovan has a, a somewhat of an issue with black women, all right? And I think many guys do. And I noticed that when uh, when I first reached out to him, I saw some of his articles, but um, in hindsight, I, I thought that Donovan was a guy a lot of brothers could relate to, all right? Which is why I, I wanted to work with him. Um, but Donovan speaks very negatively about the black community, uh, about his experiences, um, just in all, and so much so that, you know, he doesn't date black women. He only dates white women or non-black women and stuff like that. And that's fine, right? But Donovan made um, a live stream about Danica Marie. And in that live stream, he talked about Danica in, 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 pejor in the pejorative uh, fashion. You know, he said that, uh, you know, she's another wannabe dating coach. Um, profiting off of male thirst. And, and like I said, that's his opinion. I would never respond to him on, on that, right? And, and, and the reason why is because it, it's, it's, it's not enough for me to do that, okay? Donovan Sharp's opinion on, on black people, it's not enough for me to do uh, a show on, right? But the reason why I'm doing this is that Obsidian Media Network, who had a difference of opinion about Dianica Marie, did come out and call out Donovan Sharp. And I want to play the soundbite of what Donovan, or what Obsidian rather, said about Donovan. And I want to talk about all you other guys who disagree with Obsidian about this, because I definitely agree about people like Donovan Sharp 
and others of you who think like him, listen to this, and I'm going to come back and give my commentary. At three minutes past the hour. What it's got to do with Mr. Donovan Sharp is this. He is a brother. He also happens to hail from Philly. So he's a homeboy and a brother. Fair enough. I'm going to leave our personal history out of it. That is irrelevant for today's discussion. The issue I have with Mr. Sharp in so far as Miss Danica Marie is concerned is this. Mr. Sharp, you have made the decision to mate with Becky. Let me be let me repeat that. You, Mr. Sharp, have made the decision to take Karen as your mate. I got no problem with that. I got absolute I want to be a hundred percent clear on this point. I got no problem with Mr. Donovan Sharp or any other black man choosing a non-black woman as his mate. I'm good with it. That's his choice. He's just as much an American as citizen as me. I respect his choice. If he was to bring his woman around, she would get the utmost treatment and respect from me. That woman ain't done nothing to me. I got no truck with her. But I want you to understand something here, Mr. Sharp. I want you to understand this and know this well. See, we have a misunderstanding here. We, we, we got a misunderstanding. See, you're under the understanding that though you have chosen a non-black woman as a mate, and while we respect that right, and while we ain't going to come sideways at your woman, we respect that. We respect her. But you seem to misunderstand. You, you, you seem to be under the understanding that you're still able to critique black women. You're under the misunderstanding that you're still able to weigh in on black issues, which really comes down to the black man and the black woman. I'm here to disabuse you of that misunderstanding, Mr. Donovan Sharp. You have forfeit. See, when you take a non-black mate, which is your right, I recognize your right, I affirm your right, I respect your right. That's not in dispute. But see, when you do that, you forfeit the right to discuss the black woman, to discuss black issues, to discuss black dating and mating issues, you forfeit. That's how that works. All right, guys, you heard what Obsidian had to say. And, and here's response, because a lot of guys thought Obsidian was caping for Dianica Marie. Oh, Obsidian, you're simping. Oh, Obsidian, you have this problem, okay? I, I want to come out and talk about this. This is very important. This goes out to the SYSBM guys. It goes out to guys like Donovan Sharp, to anybody. I understand your perspectives, but once you decide that you're gonna date someplace else, uh, people like your opinions don't matter about the black community. I'm sorry, they just don't, all right? This is the reasons why if, if Donovan would have would have made this a particular stream about her, not that he doesn't have points, not that he doesn't have a right to those points, but once you say that you don't like, you know, black women, you don't like the black community, you have issues with that. People like Donovan Sharp and that, that share his uh, way of thinking. When it comes to black issues, th their points are going to be ignored because number one, they're not going to work with the black community. They have no, they have no, they have no faith in the black community. All right. And people who are dealing with black issues are only those commentaries that should be listened to. And when I tell you that Donovan Sharp is excellent at dating, he's excellent at writing, he's excellent at original concepts, there's not many people that are better than him when he talks about dating. All right? Just, just not. 
And, you know, I don't know if he feels maybe threatened a little bit by her. I don't know. Uh, because Donovan Sharp is good enough at what he does. I don't even know why he even makes a video about the lady. But Obsidian makes a strong point. A lot of you guys thought that he was simping on her behalf. He wasn't. He's telling a lot of you guys, including Mr. Sharp, that if you're dating somebody not, not black, your opinion doesn't matter, does it? You forfeit the right. And many of you brothers out there are swirling it up, just like the sisters are swirling it up, and they're talking about black issues. Imagine Crystal and Karazin. I'm gonna tell you how fake a lot of y'all are. If Crystal and Karazin was to do this on a black issue, what would you guys say? You guys would say, Crystal, you need to worry about your white man. The same thing you guys say about Kamala Harris. Kamala, you need to worry about your white man. But Donovan, who has a white woman, you guys are then going to turn around and say, oh, well, he's right, but Obsidian simping. Listen, any of you guys who are doing the same thing that Crystal Karrison does, Kamala Harris does, your, your points don't matter, all right? The black community discussions about black love and black relationships are only for those who are participating in them. Outsiders are not welcome. And Donovan doesn't have, Donovan doesn't have any connections to the black community. Like that, he doesn't. He'll be the first to tell you. So what Obsidian's talking about him is not being mean. Even if you look at Donovan's platform, he might have some black guys who support him. I, 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 can, I can assure you that most guys who relate to Donovan Sharp are not black. Donovan relates more to, to, to non-black people, in particular white guys. All right? And that's why I would ignore Donovan about any black issue. He doesn't, like, nobody takes him serious about that. About dating and things in general? Yes. Black people? No. Black people, you know, and that's the thing. And it's no offense to Donovan. He's very good at what he does. When it comes to black issues, when you marry out of the race, you deal with people who are not black, bye-bye goes your rights. I, I don't even entertain people like that. All right? And Obsidian is right. 3,000%. You're not in the black community anymore. You don't deal, you don't like black folks like that. You're dealing with Karen, you're dealing with Rebecca. Stay over there. And that's to any of you other guys out there. Any of you other guys that come on my comment section today talking about this and disagreeing with me about this, I'm blocking you. This is a who should be able and who should not be able to comment. That's all that is. It has nothing to do with him as a person or him and Obsidian having problems. It has nothing to do with that. It's just what it is. That's all I got to say. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe at the bell. I really appreciate all of you here for what you do on the platform. Check out, check me out on Patreon. Uh, check out uh, all the platforms below. I really thank you guys. And always remember the buffoonery remains at all time high. Don't forget about the Black Made of Purple t-shirts. We're out.